Greetings everyone and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums for your chakra check-in, pick a card tarot reading. So we're just checking in with the energies of your chakras, which chakras are calling for your attention, and we're just going to allow spirit to guide these readings. So we have three piles to choose from. This is pile one with the sodalite obelisk. This is pile two with the yellow jasper obelisk. And this is pile three with the green adventuring obelisk. So take your time in choosing your reading. You may be drawn to more than one reading and that is perfectly all right as that is your intuition letting you know that there's a message for you in that pile as well. Keep in mind that these are general tarot readings and please only go with the messages that resonate with you. I'll begin with pile one. There'll be time stamps down below for the other readings and I'll meet you at your reading. Hello pile one. If you were drawn to the sodalite obelisk, welcome to your reading. So we're going to begin looking at the oracle cards from the seven energies and then we'll shuffle some more cards. We begin with number 23, Healing the Heart. Next we have number 19, Waking the Lion. And then we have number 45 with Beyond the Ordinary. Okay, I feel like that this is immediately telling me that those of you who were drawn to this reading are extraordinary people with extraordinary gifts. And a lot of those gifts that you have are within your heart and as you're healing your heart from whatever pains that you might be feeling, uh, whether it's rejection, abandonment, betrayal, anger, uh, what is it that needs to be healed in your heart? And as you're healing your heart, this is waking the lion Waking the lion heart. This is about being courageous and going beyond the ordinary. So you are a unique, powerful person with extraordinary gifts that you are meant to bring forth into the world. And some of you might be learning to be or are drawn to being a energy healer, a therapist of some kind, even artist, because art is very healing. Some of you might also be writing about the journey that brought your gifts to your attention. It's through the challenges of life in which we become more self-aware and through our own healing process to give yourself the love, the self-love and self-care so that you can heal your heart and go beyond the ordinary, receiving unconditional love from the universe and allowing that love to flow through you and to everyone that you come in contact with. Okay, let's get a couple cards from the Chakra Insights. And we have number 20 with responsibility, self-discipline, empowerment, reliability, and fulfillment. So you are taking responsibility for your well-being, 
your self-care, your self-love, and there's a discipline. Perhaps some of you are taking responsibility in following through with your New Year's resolution. Though this is a timeless reading, I'm recording it in January. And regardless of when you see this, you are taking responsibility for your self-care and well-being and setting an example. And then we have seeing, perspective, truth, knowledge, clarity. You're waking up your third eye. Or maybe you're finally listening to the messages of your third eye. And there is a connection between your heart and the third eye. You're seeing and you're also feeling. And you're taking responsibility and allowing your intuition to guide you. And perhaps you are bringing together different healing modalities that become uniquely you and you're sharing that intertwining with other people who may also benefit from that knowledge that truth okay let's go into the tarot i am using the light seers tarot And we begin, oh, how beautiful, the high priestess. Now, for me, she's a lot like the librarian. She's the keeper of knowledge, the keeper of wisdom. She's responsible for guiding you to the information that you seek. And I feel like that your intuition is waking up. Next, we have the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Discernment and Evaluation. You are evaluating and taking responsibility for yourself. Here we have the Hermit. And I think that you're recognizing that healing your heart is a soul journey. It can be the dark night of the soul where you go into the depths of yourself and discover your inner light, that spark, that divine spark of the universe. And in that divine spark is unconditional love. Nine of Wands, not being afraid to set up boundaries, to stand apart from others beyond the ordinary. The Wheel of Fortune, yes, by protecting yourself, the Wheel of Fortune is going to shift, and you're seeing these shifts. It's shifting your perspective. You're seeing the truth in a different light, gaining more knowledge and clarity. And then we have the King of Swords beneath the High Priestess, and diagonal from the queen of swords so this is bringing balance with your knowledge wanting things to be fair and equal and knowing that balance is always in motion it's coming to the center of yourself and the heart chakra healing the heart is the center chakra it's what that's why it's green, because your lower chakras are the warm colors and your higher chakras are the cooler colors. And it is within the heart that the yellow from the sacral chakra and the blue from the throat chakra merge together. Your confidence, your clarity, your third eye. And here we have the King of Pentacles. Uh, he is a card of stillness. 
you do have to be careful not to get stagnant with the Knight of Pentacles, but he is searching for stability. He's waiting for the right opportunity to move on. He does not waste his energy. And I feel like that with this below the Queen of Swords, that you are re-evaluating your situation and taking responsibility for yourself and fulfilling promises that you have made to yourself with self-discipline, which is going to help empower you. Next, we have the Devil card below the Hermit. This is a very interesting combination here because here we have the Hermit going into the depths of his being. And in the depths of that unconsciousness, the Hermit is shining his light. And within that darkness is the devil. This is not an evil card. It is a card of the unconscious, of falling into bad habits, um, relying on substances to deal with heartache. And I feel like that you have reached this point where it's like, this is enough. Because with the Queen of Swords, which is a card of separation, you're now separating yourself from bad behaviors through self-discipline. You're realizing that whatever bad habits or things that you relied upon as a scapegoat, because the devil also represents the scapegoat, you're emerging from the devil card, from that darkness of bad behaviors or allowing people to take advantage of you, uh, eliminating, separating from toxic people, toxic situations. That could be why the Knight of Pentacles, you're taking pause. It's like, can I really afford to leave this toxic job or toxic relationship and be self-reliant? Next, we have the Page of Cups. Look at this love coming your way. Now, the Page of Cups uh, is usually represents Pisces, but it can be any water sign. Just as the King of Swords represents Libra and the Queen of Swords represents Aquarius. And Aquarius is about your originality, your individuality. Libra is about balancing relationships. I feel like a relationship here for you has come to a standstill. The Knights are instigators of change. And it could be like, oh, things have suddenly become still. They're not moving forward. And you're realizing something about your shadow self. And you're healing that with the Page of Cups. Because this the Page of Cups is a dreamer. He does what he loves. He's very creative. And Pisces is also the last sign on the astral wheel and represents the abyss, the deepest of the water, the deep subconscious, which I feel can be also associated with this devil card as well as the hermit card. It's like the hermit card is coming down to the devil and offering love, healing, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. This card is ruled by Venus. Uh, she is also represents Capricorn, resourcefulness, organization. I feel like that you are reorganizing yourself. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune, an opportunity shifting your way. And it feels right. It feels something within your heart in your creativity, maybe some of you are reinventing yourself. And the Queen of Pentacles is showing you the resources 
that you already have available to you. The bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. A new adventure awaits you. Okay, let's get a couple cards from the Chakra Oracles. We have the solar plexus with choice. This goes very nicely with the waking lion as well as responsibilities. And the affirmation on the back is, my right to choose freely is a measure of my individuality. Taking responsibility for your choices. Going beyond the ordinary. We also have another uh, solar plexus chakra card here with self-worth, knowing your value, knowing that you're better than these bad habits or toxic people or toxic situations. And your affirmation is, I am worth my weight in gold and I am worthy of my own love and respect confirmation to self-love, self-care, taking responsibility for yourself, for your well-being, waking up your inner courage, waking the lion that is courage, going beyond the ordinary, your lion heart, Leo rules the heart. Okay, let's close up your reading with some chakra love messages. Okay. Spirit has given you some cards. Okay, so we begin with the heart chakra connection. Father Divine and Mother Earth make love in your heart with Green Ocean Jasper. Okay, the ocean in your heart. Okay, then we have, this is your artwork, passion with the sacral chakra, tiger eye. Turn your fear of change into excitement for change. Another confirmation of choosing yourself, choosing your well-being. Here's the artwork for your next card. And we have Heart Chakra with Jade. Compassion. Resolve your conflicts with compassion. Okay, we talked about that with the Page of Cups and the Devil, as well as the Hermit. And Healing the Heart. Okay, here's your next card with Labradorite. And the Third Eye Chakra. Dreams are where your mind translates the divine. You're seeing that now. And here's the artwork for your final card. And we have Howlite with the crown chakra. Meditation to see more clearly. Close your eyes. Close your eyes so you can see with your third eye. Shift your perspective. Tap into your inner knowledge, inner clarity. Even in this darkness with the devil card, we have the hermit descending into this darkness and bringing light with the star in the lantern, with that lantern light. And the reason for that inner light, that soul spark that is guiding you through this darkness is so that you're not overwhelmed by the unconscious because we put everything in the unconscious, all our doubts and fears, and it hides in the shadows. And when we compile enough 
toxic energy there, it kind of creates this devil card that emerges to call attention to, hey, it's time to clear this clutter out. We're only going to descend into the darkness with this lantern. So you only see that which needs to be healed, that which needs to be cleared. And that which needs to be cleared will be drawn to that light like a moth to the flame. And you will become aware and you are bringing this compassion and love. And you're also being inspired through these challenges to stand above, to stand in your unique power. And that is is what's going to start moving this wheel of fortune and the queen of pentacles is giving you the resources the high priestess here is also a resource she's the keeper of the library of hidden knowledge secret knowledge and you are evaluating and discerning and rebalancing, recalibrating yourself. And you're renewing, restoring, shifting your perspective. The Knight of Pentacles, that standstill, like, okay, let me see what happens here. Let me go through the resources I do have now so I can begin with what I have now. And you know what you have now? You have yourself. You have a responsibility to yourself. And to find the courage to go beyond the ordinary and embrace your uniqueness. It is that which is unique that is your value. No one else is like you. So I'm going to end your reading here, Pile 1. I hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful and inspiring. And until next time, blessed be my friends. Hello, Pile 2. If you were drawn to the Yellow Jasper Obelisk, welcome to your reading. So we're going to begin your reading with the Chakra Insight cards. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so I have to cover this up because YouTube does not like nudity. I will show you that much. So we have physical health with vitality, strength, body image, and balance. And we have the heart chakra. So I feel like that we have the root chakra and the heart chakra. And to me, this is saying keep your resolution and be active. You're concerned about your physical health and well-being. And being active is also going to be a positive thing for your heart chakra as well. Because when you feel good about yourself, when you're in good physical health, you feel good about yourself. And that's that heart chakra energy. So let's put that there. And then we have number 31 with honesty, truth, transparency, sincerity, and communication. Communicating clearly and honest, honestly. And this could have something to do with your physical health and well-being. Being honest with yourself. Okay, let's get a few cards from the Energy Oracle, the Seven Energies Oracle cards. And here we have, okay, the Waking Lion with number 19. Then we have number 38 with Endless Possibilities. And we have 46, The Uncharted Sea. And what is so interesting about The Waking Lion is that he's not afraid to go into the uncharted sea. He's not 
afraid to go into the endless possibilities. He's very focused on what he desires. He's being very honest and focusing on your vitality, that stability that you find within your vitality by being in the best physical health that you can be. So I feel like for many of you who are drawn to this pile, you're being very honest about your health goals and you're willing to try some new things. Maybe some of you are going to try um, yoga for the first time. At the bottom of the deck, we have Awakening Genius. So I feel like that there's some creativity here. Uh, some of you might be trying, uh, again, different exercise programs that might be new to you. They might be uh, easier for you to do because you're at a different phase in your life. And you also are aware that you are not who you once were. Maybe you used to be in really good shape and now you're not. And you have to start from where you're at now. And that takes being honest, honesty, being honest with yourself, being truthful with yourself about your physical health. So some of you might start off with doing yoga or maybe some of you are going through physical therapy and you have to start off with baby steps and regain your strength and vitality. Okay, let's look at the Light Seer's tarot cards. Let's get some tarot cards down here for you. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles dropped out here. Okay, Spirit is choosing your cards. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. With the Ten of Cups. How beautiful is that? Being resourceful. Following your bliss. I, I feel like that following your bliss goes more with the endless possibilities and the ten of pentacles is more of a result of utilizing those resources that you have available to you now what can you do now with what you have the queen of swords the queen of discernment being brutally honest with yourself. The Nine of Swords. Okay, some of you are, are afraid to go into this uncharted sea, but it's not stopping you from doing so. You are aware of your doubts and fears that have been holding you back. And the Queen of Swords is helping you to separate yourself from those doubts and fears because as you regain your physical health, you're going to become more and more confident about who you are. And the waking lion, which makes me think of Leo energy, Leo rules the heart chakra. Then we have the nine of pentacles. Very nice because the resources that you're, you have available to you now, you're able to invest some of that. Investing by following your bliss, using what resources you have, you're able to create a legacy and you have more than enough. This is something that's going to be very fruitful for you. Next, we have Strength, another Leo card. Your, your urge to follow your bliss is very strong right now. And you're encouraged to follow that. 
Here we have the moon. Your dreams may be talking to you at this time. The moon, of course, can represent uh, dreams, but it's also asking you to stay on your path. And if you feel like that you wavered off your path, the moon guides you back to your path and is urging you not to get off your path. So if you started a workout routine, you're being encouraged to, yes, try different things, find what works for you at this time and build from that. Some of you may also be dreaming of prosperity, family legacy. Uh, your ancestors may be communicating with you as well at this time. Then we have the King of Swords below the Queen of Swords. Balancing, uh, wanting things to be equal, fair, and balanced. Uh, here we have the truth and sincerity and communication. This is Aquarius energy with the Queen of Swords, and this is Libra energy with the King of Swords. And I feel like that here, you are balancing what you're removing, taking out that's not healthy for you, and trying different things to see if it does work for you. And if it doesn't, you just let it go and move on to the next possibility. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. You are going to be rewarded. Staying on track, staying on your path, overcoming your doubts and fears. You're being given a positive reinforcements. And maybe giving yourself those rewards. It's like, okay, I worked out today. I did my workout today. And I'm going to reward myself with a little treat. Whatever that might be for you. For some of you, it might be, okay, I'm going to uh, go visit the park or I'm going to watch this TV show because I did do my workout or I'm going to indulge in this healthy snack which is going to bring you even more rewards because you're shifting, you're reinforcing that workout with healthy foods. That's just an example. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the seed of your intentions. What is the seed of your intention? What is in your heart that is asking you, what can you do to improve your physical health? And you're meant to be honest with yourself. You don't have to share this with anyone else, but it might be helpful for you to journal your workout, you know, to track your workouts. And then you'll be able to track your rewards. Because the Six of Pentacles is a positive reinforcement. And it is in the physical realm, which is going to build your prosperity. It's diagonal from the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles above the Nine of Pentacles. And by following your bliss, by doing that which feels good, is and can be the reward itself. Okay, let's get a couple chakra oracles here for you. Some positive affirmations for your chakras. Okay, we have the brow chakra with imagination. Okay, maybe your reward is, I'm going to do some artwork. I'm going to use my imagination. Maybe you're going to, uh, maybe some of you write. Maybe you're going to write an article or journal about the challenges that you've had to overcome. And your affirmation is, imagination guides me to what gives me pleasure and joy. 
it releases me from the ordinary and puts me into the realm of the extraordinary. Going into uncharted sea, to endless possibilities. Your imagination. And then your next card is the throat chakra with willpower. Okay, it's going to take willpower to get over some of those challenges. And those challenges can be part of that uncharted sea. Okay, and your affirmation here is willpower taps me into my right life and aids my growth and development. Willpower fortifies my sense of who I am. Okay, knowing who you are. And you learn about who you are through your physical activity. Uh, being all that you can be. Being as strong as you can be. Being as healthy as you can be. And that's going to be different for each and every one of you. Because we're all unique individuals. Okay, let's get some chakra love. Which spirit has given you this card. Here's your artwork. And it is the throat chakra. Lapis lazuli. Express your true self. The world needs you. I feel like spirit wants you to have this card too. Because it did a flip. Okay, and we have sit security to feel more secure deep in your connection with nature this is the root chakra with garnet and that's that physical health the root chakra feeling the security in your physical well-being and one more card from chakra love Here is your artwork, and we have the third eye chakra with tourmaline. This happens to be watermelon tourmaline. Okay, trust. Trust your intuition. It is in contact with the higher source of knowledge. And we have truth, transparency, sincerity, communication, and honesty. You're meant to trust that. Trust your inner truth because what's true for you, certainly there are common truths that we all share, but there are certain things that are true uniquely to you because your life journey is different than other people's life journey. Certainly there can be similarities and certainly we can... Uh, it's funny because at the bottom of the deck, we have journey with sacral chakra, with red adventuring to enjoy the journey, let go of the outcome, go into those uncharted seas for endless possibilities. Let's flip this back over. So you are on a journey and that journey is taking care of yourself. Okay, pile two, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that you found it helpful and inspiring. And until next time, blessed be my friends. Hello, pile three. If you were drawn to the green adventuring obelisk, welcome to your reading. So we're going to begin your reading by looking at your three seven energies oracle cards. And we begin with number 43, Spirit of Gratitude, Practicing Gratitude. And by practicing uh, the Spirit of Gratitude, it helps you to be here now, to be in the present. The universe is always in the now. And uh, because time is something that we humans created. Okay, here we have number 41, a higher view 
a higher perspective. We have an owl here representing wisdom by having a higher view. And that could be something that, you know, spirit is higher spirit. Gratitude is in the heart. And it can be through gratitude by practicing gratitude, uh, being grateful for what you have, what you are, what your abilities are. This gives you a higher perspective of your purpose, I feel. And then we have number one with earth magic. You are meant to bring this into manifestation. Keeping your feet on the ground, your head in the clouds, gratitude in your heart. We have bringing those higher perspectives, that higher view in through the gratitude and grounding it in earth magic to manifest something, to manifest your higher perspectives, to create a higher world your world okay let's get some tarot cards down here we begin with the seven of swords a card of strategy this can also be a card of deception because in the Seven of Swords, in the traditional Rider Waite deck, we have someone sneaking into the enemy camps to steal the swords. So there doesn't have to be a war in the morning. Of course, other people could take advantage of that vulnerability and just decimate them because they've taken their weapons away from them and now they're helpless. But... You know, with gratitude, this is about being compassionate for other people and having this higher view. As you can see, this person is on top of a mountain looking down, getting a higher perspective, getting a better perspective of strategy. Next, we have the magician. Magic, working your magic. Manifesting that which you desire, which I think is a nice compliment to the earth magic here. Wanting to manifest your desires. Then we have the three of pentacles. This is your dream team. This is a card of higher quality. Being a better person. Next we have the king of swords. Okay, he has shown up in all three readings now. So I feel like that, you know, collectively, we are all looking for balance. And notice that we have crows in both cards. There's also a bat which and an owl. So we have higher perspective. We have occult knowledge, that which is hidden. And we also have the crow, which is, to me, I see as protection because they're very protective of their space, of their territories. So I feel like that you are bringing balance to self-protection through having this higher perspective and keeping that higher perspective balance. And going for the highest and greatest good. That is what you desire to manifest. Look at that. Nine of Pentacles. Very nice. And it looks like we have a dove here. So there's peace. Peace is being brought in to this manifestation. And this is putting you in a very nice position of knowing that you can, if you put forth quality work, 
you're going to reap the rewards threefold because three times three equals nine. And that is the law of three, the threefold law. The magician knows this. Next, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Very beautiful because, again, by putting forth your best work, not only are you going to reap the rewards, but you're going to create a legacy or carry on a legacy. Next, we have the Nine of Cups. Following your bliss. I love seeing this with the Nine and Nine. By following your bliss, you're going to love what you are doing. That is part of your higher view. Your bliss is above you. And you're bringing it through with gratitude and grounding it in your earth magic, in everything that you manifest. Here we have the Hermit card. Uh, not afraid to sit alone, to be in your own space to balance your dark and light, shadow and light, because shadow and light, light will cast a shadow on everything that exists. Well, we exist in this 3D world, and the way that we see is that what is between shadow and light. Four of Cups. Okay, someone who is like, feeling emotionally lost, emotionally drained. Uh, and some of you may have experienced people who kept thwarting your work, kept betraying you, stealing your ideas, taking credit for your work. And you're tired of trusting other people. So now you're trusting yourself. And I feel like that some of you are drawn to working alone. You don't have a problem being in your own company. You're happy to be in your own company. You enjoy your own company. Ace of Cups, the Healing Heart, the Holy Grail. By doing that which you love is going to heal yourself. And by healing yourself, you're bringing that healing energy into the world. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. We have Ace of Swords. You're very focused on a new project, a new idea. Okay, let's get you some Chakra Insight. we have the throat chakra saying what you mean being honest clearing your throat to speak clearly and next we have creativity with number 35 this is card 29 35 creativity imagination expression originality passion that's the magician being creative. That's the three of pentacles. Bringing in your best work and reaping the rewards. And I'm not saying that you haven't had to go through some tough times here in the past. And you might be experiencing some residual energy uh, from that as well uh, in the form of doubts and fears. But when you're focused on your bliss, this, your doubts and fears, the past betrayals fade away. At the bottom of the deck, we have number 41 with intuition, trust, insight, awareness, and guidance. Allow your higher perspective, your higher view, guide you with gratitude. Bring in that earth magic. Uh, earth magic can be something uh, like working with herbs, working with crystals, 
planting your seeds of intention, planting the seeds to your garden, being creative. Maybe some of you have uh, some garden plans and they've improved from the past years. Maybe, you know, your garden last year didn't do as well as you had hoped. Uh, maybe other people were uh, interfering with your ability to maintain your garden. And now you're rebalancing, you're recalibrating yourself, recalibrating your intentions and grounding that seed in your heart with the hermit. Because remember, seeds go under the ground they're in darkness and the root is the first thing that sprouts and goes deeper for stability of what is to emerge above ground and you're meant to take care of that okay let's get you a couple chakra affirmations the heart with love. Your affirmation is, the more love I can let into my life, the more joyful I am. Yes, and that is going to bring more creativity into your life. Then we have the crown chakra with inspiration. Okay, inspiration opens the way uh, for my spirit's true expression, the higher view, the crown chakra, spirit of gratitude, being grateful for all these beautiful ideas that are flowing and presenting your best work. And then we have the sacral chakra with abundance. Uh, as I open myself to life, I accept all the good things that come with it, with gratitude, bringing forth your best work with the three of pentacles and manifesting into the ten of pentacles, as well as following your bliss with the nine of cups is going to give you that three times three, that threefold law of attraction. Okay, let's get you some chakra love cards to conclude your reading. Okay, Spirit has given you this everything card. And we have chakra balance, harmony. Harmony makes the song of life sweeter. Green jasper, turquoise, and labradorite. And with that harmony, I see that going with the hermit and the king of swords. Rebalancing yourself, recalibrating yourself. Having a partnership with yourself. Okay, here is your artwork. And we have the crown chakra, blue lace agate. Recognize the divine in the mirror. Spirit of gratitude. Knowing that you are a divine being. Next we have, here's your artwork. And we have the heart chakra, green ocean jasper. Father divine and mother earth make love in your heart. Here we have earth magic. Here we have the ace of cups, that, that uh, holy grail of healing. We have the magician, your magic. You know, connecting your higher perspective to your earth magic with creativity. What is it that you want to manifest? And what is coming through is divine ideas. Divinity is speaking through you, to you. 
you are connecting with your own divinity, your own power to manifest that which you love. Follow your bliss, the rest will come to you. So I'm going to end your reading here, pile three. I hope that you found it helpful and inspiring. And until next time, blessed be my friends.